I love Mario Kart, and I'm assuming if you clicked on this video, you love Mario Kart too. So here are five things that Nintendo's Wave 2 trailer for the Booster Course Pass DLC didn't directly tell you. And please, obviously, since this information is all so new and the trailer just dropped, if there's something I didn't mention in this video, comment it down below and I'll heart the comment because we're all just Mario Kart fans trying to learn more about these, you know, courses and, and just getting hyped up for August 4th when they come out. All right, so the first thing I want to mention that I really haven't seen anyone talk about is about Calamari Desert. Now, Mario Kart Tour has this really interesting feature where, uh, you know, I kind of wish Nintendo did this in the mainline Mario Kart games. I guess I should say home console Mario Kart games because Mario Kart Tour, I guess, is technically mainline. Basically, they reuse courses by making reverse variants, trick variants, reverse trick variants. Sometimes they even create remix or RMX versions of said courses. However, for Calamari Desert, they actually made Calamari Desert 2 exclusive to Mario Kart Tour. This is super cool to me and basically Basically, all it contains is you drive through, you know, what's mostly the same thing, but you actually drive in the tunnel on the train track, which is super cool. I remember always trying to do this in Mario Kart 7 on that Calamari Desert, so it's neat that they kind of incorporated it into Mario Kart Tour with Calamari Desert 2. Now, how does that pertain to the Booster Course Pass? Well, it looks like Mario Kart 8's version of Calamari Desert actually contains both the original Calamari Desert from the N64 remade Mario Kart 7 that we all have come to know and love, and and Calamari Desert 2, which is a tour original. As you can see from this screenshot right here, people are driving in the train tracks and in the tunnel that the train goes. This is exclusive to the second version of Calamari Desert, so it looks like we are going to be getting some mid-lap shenanigans here, where maybe lap one is the normal Calamari Desert, lap two might be a combination where half of it's normal and then half of it's Calamari Desert 2, and then maybe lap three is all Calamari Desert 2. We won't know until it officially comes out or, you know, somehow gets data mined if they upload it early, but it looks like it's gonna be more than just the original Calamari Desert that we all know and love, which is exciting to say the least. Next up, I want to talk about Sky High Sunday, the brand new course coming to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I also would just like to point out that I just made a video talking about how new courses could be coming to this game because Tor has a bunch of new courses that, you know, the developers have probably made, but just haven't been put into the game yet. And they could come to us first through the booster course pass. I literally just made a video about that. And that's exactly what's happening here. Anyway, Sky High Sunday is an absolute first for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe's booster course pass. It's the first First course in this DLC to include anti-gravity, which is obviously one of the main me like mechanics of the original Mario Kart 8 game. In fact, it looks like the entire course is anti-gravity. Obviously, we won't know for sure until the actual you know course gets dropped, but throughout all the previews and trailers we have, we do not see any of these anti-gravity um you know uh, pads or whatever. I guess I guess they're like anti-gravity pads, kind of like boost pads. And just in case you don't know or you know you're new to Mario Kart 8, you know the car is an anti-gravity gravity because the wheels are on their sides and when you bump into other players you get a little boost instead of just slowing down from the friction of bumping into someone. It looks like this entire course is in anti-gravity which is super cool. I was kind of worried they'd ditch one of Mario Kart 8's main mechanics for what will end up being half of the game because you know 48 courses in the base game, 48 courses in the booster pass. It would be weird if half of those you know courses that are in the game didn't have any anti-gravity at all. Luckily that doesn't seem to be the case as Sky High Sunday proves that. Alright I'm not going to call this the third tip because because I, what I want to do with these is kind of show things that the trailer doesn't necessarily point out. And the trailer does kind of point this out, but I haven't really seen anyone talk about it. So think of this as tip 2.5. Sky High Sunday actually splits up into two paths. That's not super interesting. Most courses in Mario Kart eventually have a point where the road forks. But what is interesting is that it actually kind of doubles on top of that. As you can see here, you can drive on top where the cars are currently driving. Or as you can see by the coins and item boxes, you can drive below. So there's a little section here where there is four paths, which is a lot. I mean... I can't really think of a, you know, time in Mario Kart where there's this many paths this close to each other. I mean, I guess you got Yoshi Valley, but those paths are all spread out. So this is kind of really cool. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about this. It'll be interesting from a gameplay perspective, because obviously if someone throws a red shell ahead, say fourth place throws a red shell and I'm in third place. Normally, you know, that screws me over. But if I'm on a different path, it bypasses me and just goes to whoever's in second place. But if second place is on a different path, you know, I mean, it just keeps going on like that. So it will have some gameplay ramifications, which is why I'm pointing it out. All right. The third 
thing I want to talk to you is something that the trailer definitely did not point out, but it's something the trailer confirmed. When Wave 1 of the Pass was initially released, there was this data mined video that showed the prefixes for all of the courses. I'll go through this quick because this was pretty well known at the time, but basically people weren't sure whether or not this was pulling actual data or if it was just, you know, making stuff up pulling like junk data. But it did show the prefixes, aka the track origins, for every other track in the past. Well, Wave 2 of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass has tracks that match up perfectly with these leaked prefixes, which means that the rest of these are likely also correct. So we now know the console of origin for every single one of the remaining Booster Course Pass courses. All 32 of them are now known, which is pretty cool and will definitely help for any wishlist videos I make in the future, because we know exactly how many of each course have to be there. Next up, all of these facts have been pretty good, but unfortunately, this one is not. It does not sound to me like Waluigi's Pinball or Mushroom Gorge have remixed music. I was pleasantly surprised when Wave 1 of the Booster Course Pass had remixed music. I didn't think that was something they were going to do. I mean, they barely even upgraded the tracks from their tour versions. How are we going to get, you know, fully remixed tracks? But we did for most of the courses, and that's really cool, but that doesn't seem to be the case here. Granted, Mushroom Gorge and Waluigi's Pinball have two of the greatest soundtracks in the entire franchise, so it's not like we're missing out on anything here, but it would have been cool to see them get upgraded, if you can even upgrade perfection. You might be wondering how we know this, well the Japanese Nintendo YouTube channel actually uploaded 8 unlisted videos that preview the soundtracks for each of these courses. Alright, last but not least, this is the one that I'm least kind of sure about. The rest of the things I've talked about here are, are they're guaranteed, like we have confident, you know, 100% proof. This one, not so much, but it's interesting enough that I did 100% want to bring it up. Alright, so for me, the most interesting course out of all of these is not the brand new course, it's not either of the tour courses being Sydney Sprint or New York Minute, it's not even fan favorites Waluigi Pinball or Mushroom Gorge. It is GBA Snowland, by far the most interesting for me, as this features a, you know, complete remake of a course we literally have never seen remade. So this is going to feel like a new course no matter what. Even if you've played Tor and played all the other ones, this is going to feel like a new course because it it's remade, so it really doesn't feel or even look like the Super Circuit layout as much as it, you know, could be. One thing on Snowland that I want to point out are these penguins. Obviously, these Mario penguins are everywhere. I mean, there's a Mario penguin power-up in, in the new Super Mario Bros games, you drop these baby penguins off on a cool, cool mountain, but we don't need to, you know, we don't need to talk about that. But next up, could these penguins be serving as obstacles in Snowland? Well, in the actual trailer, every penguin we see is off to the side, but in the aforementioned Japanese exclusive, like, unlisted, you know, preview that shows extra gameplay, we can see from this screenshot right here, it's very brief, but it seems to be that these penguins are walking on the road itself. Obviously, they're way off to the side, but it kind of looks like they're exiting the road as in they were walking across. It's very possible to me that all of this footage captured that shows the penguin off to the side was captured in maybe lap one or two. And just like in Moo Moo Meadows with the cows, by lap three they will have migrated onto the course causing extra mayhem and challenge for the racers in the final lap. Honestly, the cows took Moo Moo Meadow from being a very, you know, bland, completely flat course to being a fan favorite amongst the entire franchise. So if these penguins come onto the course on Snowland and create create, you know, more obstacles and more interesting lines racers have to take, that would be absurdly interesting and again would propel this course from being, oh, it's just a GBA remake to potentially another fan favorite on the level of Moo Moo Meadows. I don't know, I personally think it's very interesting and it's odd, right? Like if all the penguins were off to the side, as in not on the, you know, race course itself, I wouldn't even bring this up. But the fact that this frame here clearly shows the penguins on the actual course makes me think that maybe they just captured all this footage in lap one or two and by lap three these penguins will be on the course because why else would you have these specific penguins on the actual racetrack while all the other ones are not just off but like substantially off like you would have to drive out of your way to hit them yo what's up guys editor thomas here i just want to quickly interject so while i was going to grab the footage for sherbetland from the nintendo uh website i you know the thumbnail like the auto-generated thumbnail for the video shows this um which 
kind of confirms that penguins are going to be on the course however i'm going to leave obviously the rest of what i said in because this is like a completely different section of the course from what i was talking about it looks like these penguins are going to be here permanently because it's you know on the ice i guess it just makes more sense and the penguins on the actual like road part might be you know it, it, all the moomoo meadows stuff i said still holds completely true but i just wanted to point in that this kind of i guess leads even more credence to that fact because there are already penguins on the course permanently at a different part so it would make sense that the penguins that you see walk Walking off the course are gonna be on the course at some point okay I that's all I want to say just trying to you know keep everything up to date because obviously all this information is is brand new so sorry that I didn't get that right away but I'll just continue the video I don't know let me know what you think down in the comments below and as I said if you please 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 if you find anything else that you think is interesting or worth sharing let me know in the comments below I will be monitoring this comment section you know up until the DLC releases and I will be harding comments and pinning comments that I think are interesting and provide good explanations to the community I'm just hyped we finally got wave 2 Nintendo didn't forget about it so I gotta edit this video but with that out of the way guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video hit the like button subscribe if you're new for a lot more Mario Kart coverage like a lot more and I'll see you guys in the next one I'm Thomas on the Switch Stop signing off peace